gusting up to 40, 50 miles an hour right now. There's a small potential for severe weather, too. So we're going to talk about that in Highlands County, mainly Manatee, Sarasota counties. Pretty quiet right now. You see the radar review showing those big storms out there in the Gulf. That's what we're watching right now. They are moving off to the east. They're still a long way away from us. Some showers up near uh, Tampa and St. Petersburg. But these are the cells we'll keep an eye on. There have been uh, some rough uh, conditions along the east coast uh, as well with these. Now, right now, the uh, cold front itself is what we're looking at. And that cold front is going to be uh, moving on through. And that's going to change things here for us. Uh, you can see it's uh, right about here to the north of us. And showers developing along that cold front but the big story uh, this cell in particular really producing some rough weather this is creating some advisories but well out of our viewing area at this point but uh, the latest data on it is showing the uh, storm itself has quite a bit of lightning uh, just north of Lake Placid, also to the east of Sebring there. Uh, we take a look at the uh, 3D volume effect of it and see uh, what we have here. There has been some small hail reported with this cell. You can see it's up to 40, 45,000 feet. That area of white right there, that indicates Doppler hail inside this cell. And uh, we are showing some of that up uh, as far as that goes with the latest in terms of the uh, the storm track. Uh, you can take a look at the storm track right now. This is a Doppler indicated hail. Uh, marble size, the impact up to three out of a scale of 10. So uh, there is some potential there for Lake Placid to get some of that. They may issue a severe thunderstorm warning with that one. But you'll notice there's not a lot going on in Manatee and Sarasota counties at this hour and it should stay that way. This will take a couple of hours before it moves our way and it has been weakening. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that for you. But right now the latest uh, temperature is the big deal. Still very warm. But notice what happens behind that front. Cooling down into the low 80s there, upper 70s, Jacksonville at 83 degrees, uh, still 92 in Arcadia. Uh, temperature in Avon Park cooling down as a result of the rainfall there. But out there along the coastline, you factor in the humidity, still feels like 95 degrees. Well,